Tonight, we are mourning the loss of fellow journalist Gil Noble, a local television pioneer here in the New York market whose impact was felt nationwide. You know, for years, he hosted the Emmy Award-winning public affairs program Like It Is on WABC. Now, on that program, he interviewed a who's who of black leaders and celebrities, and he shined a spotlight on the African-American experience before a lot of other folks did. His colleague, Sandra Bookman, takes a look back at his life. What is the salvation possibility for these kids of ours? He told it like it was for 43 years. Gil Noble became the voice of a community. His show shed light on the untold stories of African Americans. He was absolutely a genius and how he would ask the questions that no one else would ask. Like It Is debuted during the racially charged 1960s. It allowed Noble to bring attention to the African-American struggle for advancement and to give viewers a rare look at events, current and past, through an African-American perspective. The conversations around dinner tables, conversation on trains, conversation at cocktail parties would be, did you hear what Gil said? There was practically no one Gil Noble didn't interview. Activists and actors, entertainers and sports stars all sat for Like It Is. When he put together his format to be able to call together some of the best minds, not just the most popular, but some of the best thinkers. Could I trouble you for some tailor-made blues? Sure. From his passionate love of jazz to his deep commitment to truth, Gil Noble shared it all with his audience and his community. Congressman Charlie Rangel told us for over 40 years he was perhaps the nation's most important black journalist, bringing the struggle for civil rights and black equality into the homes of millions of Americans. And this from comedian Bill Cosby. This legacy must be protected. What he did was powerful because history is powerful, and it should be protected. Gil Noble received more than 650 awards during his long, distinguished career. But it what he gave is why he'll be remembered. Be he believed in that we should know our history, and, uh, and he did something about it. Many of us sort of mouth the words, but we don't really do too much. So he'll, he'll be sorely missed. And we want to thank our friends at WABC for sharing that uh, story with us. Gil Noble, he passed away yesterday at a hospital in Wayne, New Jersey, and he was 80 years of age. And Dominic, uh, you knew Gil Noble, right? I did. Um, Gil Noble was a teacher and mentor to many of us journalists uh, coming up. I, I, you know, I know my hairline <laughs> is receding, but, but uh, you know, he was, he was the guy you that taught. You appeared on his show, didn't you? I appeared on his show many times. Uh, one time I was on with Governor Cuomo, uh, the first yeah. Governor Cuomo, and Gil was a fighter for justice. But unlike some people that are angry out there, Richard, he wasn't that type. Well, there was a cool to Gil Noble, wasn't A there? cool, a kindness, the type of guy that you'd want to sit down with and have a beer with. And, and all the dignitaries in that piece, they are correct. He will be missed. And he was a, a believer, a strong and believer people, in history. And people shouldn't forget, well, today's generation, they may have heard the name or seen the show or right. whatever, one right. passing by in the remote. What he did, you know, Many decades ago, that was the first of its kind. You didn't see Definitely. a black guy hosting a public affairs show. You know, Gil Noble is with the tradition of what I call the legends, the the Bill Butels, the Roger Grimsby's, yeah. the Jim Jensen's, and you know even Geraldo. Yeah. And he was with that tradition, and he'll be missed. He, yeah. What he did was special, and it, it will he his legacy will live on for years. All right, Dominic, thank you.